And that's when my trouble began, Michael Hamlin. I'm a sales rep. I drive a thousand miles a week. My wife is certified in the state of Florida as a master gardener. I've got a silver Altima. It's fast and she's got style. In the center of our front lawn is a huge live oak tree surrounded by Florida ferns, bromeliads, and five tons of mulch. <laughs> In front of the tree is a red and white sign, CPCA Community Garden of the Month. I was driving home from a conference in Miami a couple Sundays ago. I was weary. The Talladega 500 was on the radio. Carl Edwards was a lap leader. And the hot Florida sun was scorching my weary eyes. My head snapped back and my eyes flew open. I looked at a speedometer, pegged at 160 miles an hour. I was going faster and faster down Alligator Alley. My accelerator was stuck to the floorboard. I reached down, tried to pull it out, couldn't get it free. I mashed on the brakes. They disintegrated instantly and I saw pieces of brake in my rear view mirror bouncing down Alligator Alley like charcoal briquettes escaping from a Weber grill. <laughs> <laughs> Only one thing I could do to survive. Hang on to that wheel and ride it out until she ate up all the gas. I was flying up Route 75. I hit the turnoff on 275 for the Skyway Bridge and took it on two wheels. I blew through the toll booth at the base of the Skyway and in my rear view mirror watch it explode like a miner's shack in a cowboy movie. <laughs> I hit the base of the Skyway Bridge, the continuous variable transmission, <laughs> screamed out and I shot up to the apex of the Skyway Bridge and then I launched. <laughs> I was going higher. <laughs> higher than I'd ever been before. And the car came to a rest and held suspended for a moment that seemed like an eternity. And then the nose dipped, and I began plummeting straight down to earth and certain death again. I was flying downwards, out of control, no idea what to do, but I had to come up with something. I reached in my console and pulled out my handy roll of duct tape that I always carry with me. <laughs> From the back seat, I grabbed the cardboard storyboard that I used at the conference, taped it to my left arm, dropped down the window, shot it out, and I was in control. <laughs> I could bank right. I could bank left. I could begin my descent into the Tampa Bay area. I circled down 10,000, 9,000, 8,000 feet. The state of Florida was laid out beneath me like a satellite map on the Weather Channel. I could see the dogleg of Pinellas County, and I started vectoring north and east towards Carrollwood. 5,000, 2,000 feet. I'm searching for the Country Place subdivision, and then I see a red and white sign. CPCA, Garden of the Month. I drew a dead bead right on it. <laughs> now, I'd never landed an airplane before, no less a car being flown with a cardboard wing. I hit Heath Avenue, four tires exploding, the car bounced 100 feet into the air. When I came back down, the momentum drew the front of that car straight into that damn red and white sign and pinned it to the side of the live oak. Wheels were still spinning, and it went around and around that tree churning up Florida ferns, bromeliads, and five tons of mulch. <laughs> Eventually, it buried to the axle and stopped. And Carl Edwards won the Talladega 500. <laughs> I was so happy to be home. I did what Carl Edwards did every time he wins a Sprint Cup race. I climbed out of that driver's side window. I stood on the windowsill, bent my knees, and did a backflip. Yeah! <laughs> then I heard a voice from the garage. Oh, Michael, you're home early. <laughs> there she was. Frizzy hair, lovely smile, Sunday afternoon glass of Cabernet in her hand. <laughs> And 
that's when my trouble began. <laughs>